Hello folks, it's Tuesday and I'm back already because I have stuff to share. And um, that's definitely um, a reason to go ahead and get on and post. It's Tuesday the 27th of August. Cheers. I first off want to say again condolences to Dave Newhouse. Um, members of the Muppins and Billy Swan's family. I can see through the posts on Facebook that um, that circle of musicians and, and people are, are grieving hard over the death of Billy Swan. He was um, terminally ill for a while, I think cancer, and was in a lot of pain, it turns out. So it's one thing that he's at rest now from his suffering. It's another that it's obvious that he was well-loved. <clears throat> by the people in his life. Thinking back on when I saw the Urban Verbs, I did meet the band. I don't remember a woman. And if that's the case, then it means that I met Billy Swan and didn't make the connection as to who he was. But again, my memory is fuzzy, so I'm not sure, but I don't remember I know I spent time with the whole band after the show because I really liked them a lot. I remember talking to pretty much everyone too. I don't remember a woman. So I think I met Billy Swan. Can't swear to it. The next thing I want to share is that I got um, some music in the mail. One item in particular that I was looking forward to and very happy to receive. It's the brand new... It's not out yet. It comes out um, next week. The brand new Cloud Over Jupiter album, Atomic Jupiter. Guitarist Jerry King, who's also in Moon X. This is his baby. This is his maybe third, fourth Cloud Over Jupiter album. He usually self-releases, if I remember correctly. This one is put out by Melodic Revolution. I think Nick Katana is the guy who runs this label. <clears throat> That's a great cover, isn't it? Great graphics, really eye-catching, beautiful co colors. I'm very happy to say that the music is up to it. The music is up to the dynamic, wonderful graphics. Um, I'm on here. I, I play on two tracks on the album and really pleased to be a part of this and to be a part of this, this community of musicians and artists. Very pleased to be a part of this and very glad that Jerry asked me to play on this. This works really well, and I like it. I like it well. You know, there's little things, you know, as a music music maker myself, that I notice that, well, I had done something different there. That's not the point. I want to give uh, Jerry and everyone involved kudos. Everyone played beautifully. And I especially want to shout out Gary Mayulo. I hope you, I'm saying your name right. Because the album starts with him singing. And as you folks know, I am ultra critical of singing. I prefer um, I prefer an instrumental when possible. But Gary has a good voice, and he puts in a good, um, really, really good performance. It starts the album off really good, strong, a good, good voice. And this is definitely progressive. In the first song defines that. This is prog rock, if you want to say. It's definitely going to, well, it's already being um, talked about in prog rock circles and in some magazines. Jerry's a really good guitarist, and um, this one, I'm noticing, he he shreds a little bit on this album, but the, the other thing about Jerry is the, um, the variety in his playing and choices of, of settings for the guitar. 
like I said, everything from, from noodly prog to stuff that sounds almost like Henry Cow, one of the tracks that I play on, and uh, even to almost Pink Floyd. So I'm enthused about this and, and, and wanted to share it while it's fresh. I just got it. I played it several times yesterday because it's it really turned out good. And again, great people on here. Everyone from Dave Newhouse, how you who you hear me talking about from the Muffins, Dave Newhouse from the Muffins. Um, who else is on here? Amanda Chaudhry. I just reviewed her CD. Um, Ron Anderson is on here. Ian Beabout, Derek Pavlik. Um, those are the people whose names that I recognize. There's, there's more. I'm trying to see them here because it's small print. But this is good. Uh, again, uh, it'll, it'll be out next Friday. Next Friday is the, the next band camp. We haven't had a band camp Friday all summer. So they're bringing it back for September. Um, I'll be uh, asking for folks to... Um, consider supporting, showing me some support through Bandcamp Friday, next Friday as well. So this is one of the new things that's com that is coming out that I play on. There's another vinyl release coming out that, I, that I'm on that I will hopefully have here in a, the next couple of weeks. Cloud Over Jupiter, Atomic, Atomic Jupiter. I noticed that all of the song titles begin with the, the letter L. I wonder what that's about. I'll probably ask Jerry to do a Zoom with me about the album. I think it's quite good. I got a package from Brian Day of Public Eyesore ad records. I have not played these yet. But Brian is the real deal. He is in the same league as people like Pauline Oliveros and Steve Reich, in my, in my humble opinion. Um, he's a world traveler. He um, interacts and, and um, collaborates widely. Uh, he's an educator as well as an instrument maker. Uh, very cool guy. So the latest things he's sent me, which I haven't played yet, but I'll show you, are Dust... How do you say this? I got the one sheet. She's very professional. Dust's C1. It's a cassette. I'll just show these. I won't try to describe them because I haven't played them. I will say that, you know, again, this is cassette culture. Isn't that nice? That's a groovy looking cassette. And cassette culture is back in full, full swing really like it never stopped so i got that in two cds i got this cd by stephen finn stephen flynn and brian eubanks on the public eyesore proudly i have a release of the label well two actually and this other one on public eyesore um tungu Successful Utilization of Elements. New, new music, new sounds to check out, which is what I plan to do with this today. Jerry sent me a very nice letter with my copies of Cloud Over Jupiter. I'll enthuse about it for a while. It's, 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 it's really good. It's very, very good. The only other thing I can share here about music, honestly, is I played most of this yesterday. We were I was talking about Catherine Ribeiro. And this is intense. It's in French, so I don't know what she's going on about. But the second side, Poem Non Epique, Non Epique, is a long piece that just, it's psychedelic. And she's very emotional on it. I don't know what about. But you feel it. And it's, it's, it's intense. It's good. That's it. I haven't, don't have any other records that I pulled because I haven't 
didn't play anymore. Folks, I'm a, that's what I had to share, so I'm not going to belabor trying to make a longer video. Hope everyone is okay. Take care. Let me know how you're doing.